Hi friends, welcome to JS Frameworks. So today we will be taking a look at how we can build an adaptive web design using JavaScript media queries. So adaptive web designing is very important when we need to display our web pages in multiple devices having different resolutions like the mobile, desktop, tablet, etc. So today I will be showing you a simple demo how we can implement an adaptive web design using the JavaScript API media query list. So uh, here I have created an HTML file where I am uh, providing an image. So the image will be displayed based upon the device. So I have created an index.js file. So inside that I am uh, querying the image and I am making use of the API match media. So within the match media we can able to we are able to provide uh, the media queries so once we execute uh, this we will be uh, getting a object called the media query list so uh, this is the detail about the media query list the media query list is a simple object it contains only two properties uh, the matches property and the media so the matches is a boolean that uh, evaluates whether the current document matches the media query list or not and media is a serialized or stringified representation of the media query which we uh, use in the uh, match media. So uh, also the media query list provides uh, ability to attach event listeners so that whenever the value of the media query changes we will be able to execute a callback. So this will be especially useful when we resize our window or uh, do similar actions. And uh, let's come to the code. So what I have done is uh, I have executed the match media and I uh, received a media query list and then I am uh, passing this media query list into a render function. So what it does is it will check the matches flag inside the uh, media query list and if it's uh, true that is uh, the maximum width is uh, 600 pixels. So that is uh, mainly for small devices. So in that case, it will uh, show the small image and in case uh, it is in a big device, it will show the uh, big image. So also we can add event listeners to uh, the media query list. So uh, we listen upon the change property and uh, whenever the change property is triggered, the render function will be executed. So let's see this in action. So this is the page uh, which will be displayed in uh, the desktop view. And now if I reduce the size of the image, see you can see uh, based on the page size, the image got uh, changed and if I move it back, it will be replaced. So this can be used for uh, creating any kind of layouts uh, based on the device and the screen size. Now let's debug the page and see how exactly the code gets executed. So uh, you can see that uh, initially the media query list is generated uh, with the given media query. The matches is false and uh, media is the media query which we gave. And uh, then we execute the render. And since it is false, uh, it will show the big image and it will exit. Uh, it will add an event listener and exit. Now, uh, suppose we resize the page. Yeah, when we reach the uh, 600 pixel mark, uh, it will the change event will get triggered and the callback. Uh, inside the callback, you can see that the parameter is a media query list event, and it also has the same properties, the matches and the media, and it will contain uh, all the other properties which are inherited from the event uh, interface. So uh, here, since it is true, uh, it will enter into the uh, small image and it will make the source as small and it will be rendering the small image. So the media query list API is really helpful in developing adapting web design. So hope you found the video useful. See you soon. Thank you.